five more low energy dog breeds. A lot of these dogs are going to be big, like really big, but as long as you can handle a lot of meat, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Context is pretty important, isn't it? First up is the Great Pyrenees, a dog so lazy that it doubles as an ottoman, but also so charming they were once elected mayor. Next up is the Bull Mastiff, a dog so large that they stop intruders by pinning them down. If you don't believe me, please consult the manual. Oi, get out of my sandwich. Next up is the Newfoundland. I don't think I'll ever say that right. A dog that absolutely loves to sleep, make midnight snacks, but you have to be careful because they're prone to alcoholism. So if they're in the kitchen late at night, make sure they're making food and not sneaking a drink. I can't get over how much this looks like a man in a Muppet suit. Next up is the Irish Wolfhound, which is essentially just a troop carrier for other dogs. They're actually fully collapsible, but you want to make sure you air dry them because they'll shrink in the dryer. Finally, one smaller dog, the Lhasa Apso, or a pompous well-groomed Ewok. Bred originally as temple guardians, they now just guard their snackies. But here's the real question. At 18 pounds, would you rather have 10 Lhasa Apso or one Irish wolfhound.